Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to work on the digital planner. I hope that you find this tutorial informative and useful. Last time we got to this point. Today we are going to create a yearly overview page. We are going to do this page with all the months of the year, one by one, with the day all linked. This means that if I click on the 5th of May, it will take me to the daily page of the same day. To do this little calendar, we will use the InDesign table. So, we leave the first page blank because we will use it for the cover. Then we add another page. We will use it for the index. And finally, we are going to use the third page for our yearly overview. Now, observe that there is no tab here and no binder rings. At this point, we are going to use the master page layout. We go to this first page, select all, we can do it by clicking and drag or with holding command A, then command C. Then go to the master page here, copy in place, holding command option shift V. As you can see, all the page have the same layout now. With the master page, we can not accidentally move or erase anything. So we leave the first page blank because we will use it for the cover, as I told you before. Then we add another page for the index and finally we are going to use the third page for our yearly overview. At the moment we don't need the page number 4, so I'm going to delete it. Now we are going to create a table. We go to Table, Create Table and here in this window we set our table. We want 6 rows and 6 columns for the days and then click OK. This little icon appears and at this point we drag with the mouse and our table appears. I go closer to do the adjustment. First of all, I adjust the shape of the cells. So, click in the first cell and select them all. Here in the top menu, there are two numbers. Those are the size of the cells. I want a size of 10 millimeters and here also 10 mm. In this way we have a perfect cell square. Here on the top of the table we are going to put the days of the week and inside the box the number. Now we create a text box for the days of the week. We write Monday, Tuesday and so on. Then select test and make the adjustment. I like the adjustment in the center. You can decide to change the position of the test as you prefer. I have the days of the week ready, so I'm going to copy and paste because I want to show you how to do a character style because this is a very useful tool. Let's say that we want this text box with a different font. I use a Gilles Sans light and I want it blue at 50% like that. Select the text, 
go to character style if you don't have this go to window style character style click on this icon and create a new character style you can create a new character style also here and a window like that pops up here we write the name of the character style days of the week section early overview and here in basic character format we can see the font and here the color we choose and then click ok now we want the same character style also in these text boxes select all open character style and choose days of the week overview as you can see all the text boxes have now the same style now this line for me are too heavy i show you how to change the table style click in the first cell and select all the table right click and choose cell option and then text here we can arrange the text and the margins inside the box but at the moment choose the stroke and fill here we adjust the lines of the table the weight of the lines and the color in this case i choose a blue color here you can modify the tint and also the shape of the line and click ok as you can see now the table is much better but i like more thinner lines so I will choose 0.25 points and here we put the number of the day of the month open a text box and write January I put it in the middle and make some adjustment also here I use the Gilles sound font at 30 point light okay I'm happy with that let's see generally start on saturday and i'm going to fill every cell with the number of the months now we are going to adjust the position and the style of the number like we did before select all the cell right click and choose cell option and then text click preview to see how it looks I align center with top and bottom margin of two millimeters left three millimeters and right two millimeters and click OK also in the table we can use the same character style we created before or we can create a new one I don't like the same color so I'm going to create a new character style now I want to replicate this clean style I can see the table when I go to preview, it disappears and I prefer that. Select all the parts of the table, right click and choose cell option, then stroke and fill. And I put zero here. Pay attention to this line, they have to be all blue. That means all selected. Our January calendar is ready. Repeat the same steps for the other months. At this point, you have a page like this. Now, we are going to create these little circles where we attach our hyperlinks. I'm going to erase this one and create another one with you. Select the ellipse tool and create a circle over the number. You can fill it with color or leave it transparent. I prefer transparent. Repeat this for every number. Now 
we're going to create the index page move to page number two clicking on the page panel you can create a text box a rectangle shape or if you prefer insert an image at your choice we write here the section of our planner Now, we create the page of the months. We are going to need 12 more pages. How can we do this? Click on the page 3, then right-click on the mouse and insert page. In this window, we write the number of the page that we need. And here we can see the page. I'm going to copy this title and place it in the same position and here I type January in the next page February and so on now we start with January also in this page we are going to use the table like we did in the overview page for the calendars six row and seven column and click OK as before click drag and release like that also here I like square cell we can adjust it in cell option like we did before select all the boxes and I write 35 millimeters and here 35 millimeters too now we have a perfect square as you can see the table is smaller than before but this is your choice you can leave it as you like the most I like the table on the right side of the page and I leave the space on the left for notes or other section you may need select the table and copy it in the other 11 page in the same position now we have to insert the day of January I can copy the day by the overview page that we did before or type it manually with all the text boxes selected large like that then you can adjust the font and color. Personally, I prefer to create a character style for every section of the planner. Now, I want to change the lines of the table. Go to cell option, stroke and fill and choose 0 0.25 points and choose the color in two. Then click OK. Now, choose the rectangle tool to draw in this blank space. You use it for notes, lists or picture as you like. I split it in two to create two different sections. Also here we are going to insert the numbers of the day of the month. We can copy and paste the day of January by the early overview page like that. Command C and then Command V. Selecting all the cells. Now Let's make some adjustment. Like before, select all the cells, right click and text. Adjust the align and the cell insets in this way. And now the page of January is ready. Repeat this step for all the months. Remember to use always the character style. 
I hope to see you in the third part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel. Bye!